this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create one-to-one -one relationship in Microsoft Access. Once I can repeat the topic, how to create one-to-one -one relationship in Microsoft Access. In order to create one-to-one -one relationship, we should analysis the table design first. So first, we want to create three tables, namely student, subject, and fees. In the table student, we have the field names like student ID, it will be of short text and primary key, followed by student name, it will be of long text. And next, the table subject. In the table subject, we have SID followed by short text and primary key, and physics, chemistry, math, and English followed by yes or no data type. And third table is fees. The field names are SID, it will be of short text and primary key and followed by paid yes sir. So all these three tables where you can see a common field name is there. SID, SID and SID of same data type short text and primary key. By using this field name only we are going to create a relationship. So now next question is what is a relationship? Why we need relationship? If you have a relationship between the tables, you are allowed to split and store the data in different tables. If you have the relationship, you are allowed to split and store the data in different tables. So what is the primary key? It is used to provide a unique value or used to avoid duplicate values. So what is one-to-one -one relationship? So it allows only one entry in all the tables. So now our next task is we want to open Microsoft Access. How to open Microsoft Access? It's quite simple. Go to start and look for the alphabet A. So in A where you can see access. Once again, I repeat these steps. Go to start and then look for the alphabet A. Under A where you can see access. Just click the icon in order to open it. When you click on the access icon, it will take you to a view called as backstage view where you can see two types of databases, namely blank desktop database and custom web app. So today we are going to use blank desktop database. Just click on blank desktop database. When you click on blank desktop database, it will generate a pop-up window where you want to give the file name. And if you wish to change the location of your database, just click this icon in order to do so and select the location where you wish to save your database and click OK. Today I'm going to use the default location and I'm going to name it as dbstu. Okay, let us say one and click on create in order to create the database. When you click on create, by default, it will generate a table called as table one. So we want to navigate to design view. How to navigate to design view? So just right click on the table and go to design view or else where you can see view, just click on this and then go to design view. When you click on design view, it will ask for the table name. So what is the first table name? It will be student. And click OK. So now you are in design view. You want to design the field names. What are the field name? S underscore ID, short text, primary key, and S underscore name, long text. So S underscore ID, it will be of short text and primary key. So here you can see key, it is called as primary key. If you wish to remove the primary key, just right click here and click on the primary key in order to remove it. Or if you wish to add, just right click and click on primary key to include it. And followed by S underscore name, it will be of long text. Now we are completed our design. So now just close this and it will ask to save. Do you want to save changes to the design of the table student? Click yes in order to save it. Now we want to enter the values. So how to enter the values? Just double click the student table in order to enter the values. So let us say S101 and name is a user defined name. You can give any name as you like and S102, any name as you like. 
and s103 any name as you like and s104 any name as you like okay now you filled up the table with values and just close it and next we want to create one more table how to create one more table just go to create tab under create tab where you can see the table once again repeat the step navigate to create tab where you can see the table icon just click click on this icon in order to create a new table when you click on this icon it will generate a table one a new table again we want to navigate to design view how to navigate so go to view and design view when you click on design view it will ask for the table name what is the table name subject click ok so now we want to design SID, uh, physics, chemistry, math, and followed by English. So S underscore ID, it will be of short text and followed by physics. It will be of data type S and no and chemistry. It will be of data type S and no and math. So again S and no followed by English again yes and no so after designing the table just click the close button in order to save it again the dialog will come do you want to save the changes to the design of the table subject yes and now you want to enter the values for the table subject just double click the table subject in order to enter the value let us say yes 101 let us say physics let us say yes one not two let us say chemistry s yes, one or three let us say math and s yes, one or four let us say english and close the table now there are two tables we want to create one more table so how to create a new table just go to create tab where you can see the table icon just click on the table icon again i will repeat the steps navigate to create tab and where you can see the table icon just click on this icon in order to create a new table so here you can see the new table was created under the name table one again we want to navigate to design view how to navigate to design view right click and navigate to design view and it will ask for the table name let us say fees click ok so what are the field names SID and paid so s underscore ID it will be of short text and primary key and followed by paid it will be of yes or no so once you finish the table design just click the close icon in order to save it and save it now double click this fees table in order to enter the values let us say yes 101 it's paid let us say yes 102 unpaid yes 103 let us say paid s yes, or not for okay unpaid or paid and close it now we are created the three tables next step we want to create the relationship how to create the relationship here you can see the database tool tab is there just click on this tab or navigate to this tab in database tools where you can see the relationship icon once again i repeat the steps navigate to database tools in database tools where you can see the relationship icon just click on this icon when you click on this icon show table pop-up window will be open so where you can see all the tables right here what are the tables here we have created will be listed right here select the tables we wish to create relationship today we are going to use all the three tables I'm going to select all the three tables and click on add and close it now you can see all the tables are right here now we are going to create the relationship so student subject and fees so how to create the relationship now so here you can see edit relationship icon is there just click on edit relationship icon when you click on the edit relationship icon it will takes you to a pop-up window edit relationship where you can see the option create new just click on create new so it will be like student and it will be like subject so SID and 
ASID, click OK. So then click on the option Enforce Referential Integrity and then click Create in order to create it. Now, wow, we can create a one-to-one -one relationship between the tables, student and subject. Now, we want to create a one-to-one -one relationship between the student and fees. How to do so? So just again, click on Edit Relationship icon and go to Create New. Now, this time, left table name will be like student and right table name will be fees and left column name will be SID and right column name will be SID. Click OK and check the option Enforce Referential Integrity. Click Create. Now you have created a one-to-one -one relationship between student and fees. Now you wish to create one-to-one -one relationship between the subject and fees. You are allowed to do so. How? Again, click on Edit Relationship icon, Create New, and this time Subject and right hand table will be fees left hand column name will be SID and right column name will be SID click OK and enforce differential integrity click create now you can see so you have created a one to one relationship between the table student and subject and between student and fees and between the tables fees and subject now we want to save the relationship how so on the top of the relationship here right click save and if you wish to generate the relationship report you are allowed to do so how here you can see relationship report icon is there just click on relationship report icon in order to generate the relationship report now you have generated the relationship report just close this front view so now you have created the three tables and save it. Now you have created the three tables and you have saved the relationship report. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.